This question is based on the form tan m x means tan x whole raised to the power m secant x whole raised to the power 2 and dx or the integral of cot x whole raised to the power m cosecant x whole raised to the power 2 and dx where m and n belongs to natural numbers. So what is this kind of a question meaning? The question would be such that there would be either the interplay of tangent and secant or the interplay of cot and cosecant and the powers would be such that the power of secant would be half the power of tan and here the power of cosecant would be half the power of cot. So we have a standard question here. The question is based on the first form. Similarly, you will do the second one. So it says tan, raise, tan x raised to the power 8, secant x raised to the power 4, x is actually we have to evaluate with. So we have to evaluate the integral with respect to x. So how to do this kind of a question? The methodology that would be adopting would be the usage of the identity and the formula secant square x minus tan square x is equal to 1. We have to use this formula and then only things will be clear for us. So how to do? Let's see. Let's write solution. So I write solution. Now I have my question such that it is tan x whole raised to the power 8. Then secant is there in the power 4. So can we take out secant square as separate? Yes, I can. So it becomes secant square x. Again, I have secant square x dx because I know that 4 power is composed of 2, 2 powers. Now, secant square x formula is what? 1 plus tan square x. That I will be writing for one of the secants. How and why? Let's see. So it is 1 plus tan square x secant square x dx. Now I have to use substitution because integration under substitution we are seeing. If I write my tan x is equal to t, how things change? Let's see. Put tan x is equal to t. Equation number 1, then what is the differentiation? Secant square x is equal to dt. Equation number 2. That means my question that is i is what? If I make the question as i as I already do in other questions, so it is what tan raised to the power 8 means t raised to the power 8 x is there right 1 plus tan square means again 1 plus t square and secant square x dx secant square x dx is dt. So I have done all this from which equation from both of these which is from 1 and 2 and now you know how to do the question the question is not at all difficult. So we will be opening the bracket so t raised to the power 8 plus t raised to the power 8 multiplied by t raised to the power 2 which is t raised to the power 10 dt. Integration very simple now. It is nothing but t raised to the power 9 upon 9 plus t raised to the power 11 upon 11 plus the constant of integration. Now can I leave the answer here? No, I have to change it to the given variable which is x. So what is t raised to the power 9? I know that t is tan x. So it is tan x raised to the power 9 upon 9. Similarly, I have raised to the power 11. So it is tan x raised to the power 11 upon 11 plus the constant of integration which is c. And from where I have done this all substitution? Again from my equation number 1. So I have to write I have done this from my equation number 1. If you have this type of a question you can easily do now. Even if the interplay of cot and cosecant is there. The methodology would all remain the same.